give this time to Mark, and Mark runs right into the waiting arms of Connor Williams. There's a pitch this time to Turbin, and Turbin gets it going in the right direction across the 40 to about the 40 pack this time is Kennedy. He runs out of time, throws a little curl, it's caught this time. And that's going to be a big first down and more inside the 40, Stanley Morrison all the way to the 38 yard line. And it gives it Turbin, Turbin left side, a little gap across the 30 to about the 33 yard line. Going to be a gain of Kennedy this time on the option. And the pitch to Williams. And Williams is in. Touchdown, Aggies. They knew something there. That Turbin both in the backfield. And this is going to be Smith. He's got a reward to the 30. And out of bounds at about the 36, well short of the first down. Give this time to Mark. And Mark runs right into the waiting arms of Connor Williams. Louts maybe. Split to the far side. Fajardo steps up. Not this time. Dropped the 42 yard line. And Fajardo slow to drive. Kennedy straight back, steps up, throwing deep. And caught by Austin, first down at the 20-yard line. Kennedy straight back, steps up, throwing deep. And caught by Austin, first down. At Kennedy going to throw again, steps up, has time, looks end zone. Austin, touchdown. There's still no call now. Touchdown. What a terrific catch and get a Turbin on the carry, trying to get to the edge. Cuts it back, still on his feet across the 31st down. Picked up a This is Williams right up the gut. Williams pops it to midfield to the 42-yard line. First down. Duke Williams saving tackle again. Look out. Great play in that time to jump down by Maurice. Proper attaboy. Oh, blue Gatorade. <laughs> That's cold. <laughs> Although, in this case, it's room temperature. <laughs> I'm hoping that's his father. Well, it's a great day to be an Aggie. That's all I can tell you. That was an uh, unbelievable performance by a group of kids that uh, just kept on fighting, kept on battling. Uh, my, you know. All the credit goes to them. They just uh, back against the wall. Somebody makes a play. We knew going into this uh, that the fronts were unbelievably important. And at the end of the day, um, somebody was going to make some plays on the offensive and defensive lines, the linebackers, tight ends, to be able to give us a chance to them to either be able to consistently run the ball or us to be able to consistently run the ball. It ended up really just being a play at the end. Uh, Adam made a terrific play. He kept it on the read zone and found a way to get a first down. And, but uh, what a ride the season's been. What a great way to send out this crew of seniors. They deserve everything that they're getting, in my opinion. Um, they've been through some, obviously, we all know the ups and downs and the good times and the bad times, but uh, nothing phases them. And it's, it's, it's a great feeling as a coach um, to know that the team's going to continue to fight. Uh, and they're going to fight the way they handle it. They're going to fight themselves. They're going to get themselves ready to play. They're going to get themselves ready to face adversity, and they step up, and uh, they're not phased. And that, that's, it's a tremendous feeling. Uh, Nevada is a great football team, and they obviously show that week in and week out. And to, to beat a team like that is, uh, again, a credit to the kids. And just I, I couldn't be more happy uh, as, as a football coach. And uh, that's what we all came here to do, was to, to get into this position, to get a you know, an opportunity to take the next step as a program. And uh, these seniors started out this year, and their mindset was to leave a legacy. And there is no doubt that uh, they've left a legacy. They've done a lot that uh, hasn't happened for a long time around here. And again, the credit goes to every one of the young men on this football team. It's not much to say. You guys saw it out there. Um, the excitement around is, uh, is pretty unreal. Um, I wish, I wish everyone, every one of you could have been in the locker room. Um, you know, best, best football experience of my life. Uh, and I think it was for everyone down there. Um, just raw emotion. Uh, it was a great win uh, for the program, for this team, and you know, looking forward to uh, to next week and, and going bowling. Very exciting game. Uh, I think this is the perfect way to go out. You know, close game, another close game. You know, still keeping you guys on the edge of your seats. So, uh, you know, it's a great win for this program. 
Um, we're going bowling. I'm excited. Can't wait. Finally. Uh, you know, it's been a long time for me, especially. I've been here since 2007, like I mentioned earlier. You know, five years later, uh, finally got ourselves bowl eligible. It's a great feeling. Uh, you know, words can't, words can't really describe the feeling that I have and the feeling that the team has down there in the locker room. But uh, it's awesome, man. It's just, it's just great stuff. <clears throat> you know, we had been setting that up. And, uh, you know, Coach Baldwin's always you know, real good at knowing the moments to, to throw the trick plays uh, in there. Um, so, uh, you know, he felt the end of the third quarter. You know, we rushed out there and, and we got the look we wanted to. Um, so, you know, we, had, we called, ended up calling the timeout and then, uh, you know, run the same play. Um, so, uh, you know, I think it was just the momentum of the game. Um, and, you know, Coach Baldwin just doing what he does. I was actually uh, sitting on the other side. I was talking to one of our corners at that point and I, I heard the timeout get called. Uh, instead of the quarter, and obviously we, we, we wanted to just be able to try to get to the quarter, but we called the timeout. It all worked out in the end. Um, trick play, Stanley's been very good at his career. Uh, I don't know what his passing percentage is, but it's pretty good as if you go back in time. Um, dialed up the trick play, it worked. We needed something. They obviously hit the screen play for whatever that was, 80, 90 yards, however far it went for the touchdown to put him back uh, where, where, uh, into the lead, and we were able to come back and make another terrific big-time play for us at that point. And it was executed well. Kids did a nice job. And Turba saw it bounce up in the, out of his arms a little bit. He had me a little panicked there for a second, but he, he grabbed, his, grabbed his fingers around that thing and secured it. So it was a tremendous play and well executed. <laughs> I tell you what, those, those balls like that, that sit up in the air like that, are the hardest ones to catch for some reason. You just, uh, the only thing you're thinking about is like, you know, hurry up and, and, and get down from, from the air and, and not to drop the ball. But uh, I knew I was going to catch it. He'd be all right. <laughs> Tremendous play. You know, they're, they're, they're going to go for it. They got to make it. Somebody's got to make a play. And players make plays, players win games. And when you get into those situations, it's exactly what happened today. We, we were able to make one more play than they were. We, we practice that, those kind of situations all the time in practice, fourth and one, third and one, and, and stuff like that. And, and my whole mindset every time is that, you know, I, I, I try to work to, to, to be the very best running back that I could possibly be. And if I can't get one yard, then we got a problem. You know what I mean? So uh, fourth and inches, game on the, well, not really the game on the line, but uh, an opportunity for Nevada to get the ball back midfield. Just got to get the first by any means necessary. We were able to do it. Offensive line did a great job. They brought the house, and, uh, you know, there was a little crease right there. I just hit it up in there behind, uh, behind Bobby Hill and, uh, and uh, Schultz, Eric Schultz, and, and we got it. There's so much to talk about. It's hard to just put it in just to a few words. But, you know, um, I think the easiest way for me to explain it is, is the, the, the kids, they're just prepared. Um, and I think that has to do with the maturity, uh, that the ups and downs and the, the, the way we handled things earlier, um, you know, there, there is, you always worry about when you're trying to create a winning atmosphere of here we go again and, you know, the bad things are going to happen. And it doesn't matter now if it's a good thing that happens or if it's a bad thing that happens. I don't see them phased either way. You just play. You just keep playing. And that, from a maturity standpoint, is unbelievable to, just to see them continue to battle. and. Um, like I've said many times, the effort, I thought it was always there. The consistent play, nope, it wasn't, um, obviously. And we weren't able to make those plays early in the year at crucial times. But I think now, in a way, they, they kind of expect to make those plays with this crew of team. And that's, you know, I, I, I've never been involved in so many close games in my career, not even close. And <laughs> it's uh, to sit back and watch it happen and watch them have some victories is, is awesome. It was awesome. All week, <clears throat> coaches talked about, you know, do this for the seniors. Um, you know, they'd gone through a couple of rough, uh, rough years. And uh, so it was awesome, you know, sending them out like this. And, and on the field, I had a couple seniors, you know, come up and say thank you just to me. Um, so that was, uh, that was probably the, the best feeling. You know, I felt a lot of pride being able to send out, you know, not only my teammates, but my friends like that from, uh, you know, from their home. And like you said, I, you know, I've only been here, <clears throat> you know, a year. Um, but you could just feel how important it is. Um, and so I can only imagine how important it is to them. So it was, it was a great feeling, and, and, and I'm happy for them. I think it's very important. You never want to leave it up to anybody. You know, you always want to keep it in your own hands. So, you know, if we win, you know, we guarantee ourselves a bowl game. And, you know, it's just something I feel this, these fans in this community deserve. Have you talked to 